Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful Nebraska evening. I'm hoping that y'all can hear me above the cicadas or locusts as they call them. I don't know if, if you guys have them where you are. They're a very loud bug. But it's kind of a beautiful sound too. Okay, so tonight, today, whenever y'all are watching this, I wanted to talk to you about how I'm sort of, kind of, trying to navigate the craziness that is happening in our world right now. Um, we're dealing with a lot. The world is dealing with a lot, but particularly in the United States. Um, this is not going to be a political video, by the way, but there's just a lot of turmoil, um, and a lot of stress, and a lot of anxiety, not to mention the fact that it's an election year. So there's just a lot going on. So I don't know if I've talked about this with you guys before, but I very much consider myself to be um, an empath, and I guess my definition of empath would be someone who just feels things, not just some things, all things, very, very deeply. Um, and I worry constantly about things that I can't control, um, the people in my life that I love. I'm just kind of filled with anxiety a lot of the time. So I used to think it was just like people, places, things that were close to me like my family, my friends, my town, um, that would affect me in a big way. Um, turns out I was wrong. Um, I have very much been affected by the heavy things that are happening in the world. Um, I'm definitely dealing with a higher level of anxiety. And I get really quickly irritated, which is um, unlike me. Like I'm usually pretty patient and even keel. Um, I'm quick to tears, which is very unlike me. You know, if I cry like twice a year, um, it's a thing. But unfortunately, it doesn't take a whole lot to annoy me or make me cry. And I really just kind of think part of it is I'm just absorbing everybody's deep feelings around me. And around the world, I'm not sure about that, but I really think that's what's happening. So, I want to just kind of talk to you a little bit about what I'm trying to do to combat my big emotions and um, my big anxiety. And trust me, it's been very difficult, and I'm not super great at it. Um, but I'm doing my best. So, I think the joys of being a YouTuber when you lose your light. So, change of venue. Um, it got dark on me. And my camera does not like the dark. It gets super 
like weird and blurry so I had to come inside okay so where was I oh I was talking about how what I'm trying to do to navigate um, the big emotions and feelings and anxiety that have come along with the craziness that it feels like we're currently living in. Okay, so um, I'm trying to meditate every day. I'm terrible about it, but I am trying to do better. Um, there's a little Scottish lady that I listen to and it's called Mindful Morning Meditation. Um, it's on Amazon. I'll have to see if I can find exactly what it's called. But it's like 10 minutes, which is super easy. Um, and for if you're like me, um, I'm a terrible meditator because I live in my head. So like 10, 15 minutes is about my max. Um, so I've been trying to do that daily, and like I said, it's a super easy laid back one, and she just talks about being positive and picturing your ideal day, um, living day to day, moment to moment is another thing that I've been trying to do, um, I stress a lot about the future or what's what could happen and I'm really trying to not do that and be more present and breathe through um, my anxious moments and just think you literally just have to get through today. You just have to get through today. And tomorrow is another day. And as grandma says, if it isn't, it didn't matter anyway. So, okay, so meditation. Um, being pre present, not stressing about the future. Try not to stress about things you can't control, which is like a mantra that I say daily. I suck at it. But I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to shoo those thoughts away um, when they come at me. Okay, let's see what else. Um... Focus on the change that you can make. Like as far as the people you love or your community, you know, try to be a light. Check in um, with your loved ones. Um, and be a smiling face, even though we live in masks. You can smile with your eyes. Um, for those that you deal with every day because your bright light will help them be a bright light too. Um, indulge. That's my next thing. Spoil yourself a little bit because right now we need it. So, you know, eat a few things you normally wouldn't eat. Buy a few things you normally wouldn't buy. I'm not saying like binge shop or binge eat. I'm just saying spoil, spoil yourself a little bit. It's important. Um, sorry, my eyes are itchy. Okay, what are the other things? Ooh, listen to good music. Find songs that make you happy or that touch your soul. Um, I know y'all have probably heard the song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Um, 
but grandma and I found a version I know it's not the original version because I don't really like the original version and it's awesome so good so fun I can totally jam to it maybe I'll post a little video of me jamming to it don't worry be happy but good music super important good for your soul um, if y'all have song recommendations send them my way or if you have meditation recommendations send them my way okay I promise that this wasn't gonna be super long okay so and there's a few quotes that I want to read for you okay so let's just recap um, be present meditate if you can meditation and prayer I mean if you pray I pray um, spoil yourself a little bit self-care is huge mental health check-ins are huge um, listen to good music that fuels your soul um, and just focus on the good things, the positive things, the little things, and try to be that for others, like be a light, if you can be a light, because we all need them right now. Okay, so I have some quotes that I want to read to you guys. So this one really spoke to me as an empath. Um, it says, Dear Deep Feeler, we need you just as you are. Sensitive, messy, dangerously perceptive, alive with feeling. Those dark places you go are painful, I know, but your brilliance lights the way for others who do not dare go to those places unaided. You are a visionary, even when it feels like you are lost. Dare to keep feeling it all. The others are watching and learning from you. Kung Fu for the soul. See, it's making me weepy. Okay, next one. Do not be dismayed by the brokenness of the world. All things break, and all things can be mended. Not with time, as they say, but with intention. So go. Love intentionally, extravagantly, unconditionally. The broken world waits in darkness for the light that is you. You do not have to move mountains. Simply fall in love with life. Be a tornado of happiness, gratitude, and acceptance. You will change the world just by being a warm, kind-hearted human being. Sometimes, I just want it to stop. Talk of COVID, protests, looting, brutality. I lose my way. I become convinced that this new normal is real life. Then I meet an 87 year old who talks of living through polio, diphtheria, Vietnam protests, and yet is still enchanted with life. He seemed surprised when I said that 2020 must be especially challenging for him. No, he said slowly, looking me straight in the eyes. I learned a long time ago not to see the world through the printed headlines. I see the world through the people that surround me. I see the world with the realization that we love big. Therefore, I just choose to write my own headlines. Husband loves wife today. Family drops everything to come to grandma's bedside today. He patted my hand. Old man makes new friend today. Y'all are beautiful and wonderful. And I love you and I hope you're staying healthy and safe and taking care of yourself. Um, I hope that if you needed 
a little help navigating the world that maybe some of the tips I gave in this video can be helpful. Um, one more thing. So I saw this tonight on Facebook. I challenge you. For every one negative thought you have, try to have three positive ones. It's going to be a challenge for me too. I'm going to do my darndest. Anyway, thank you all for continuing to watch. Because you're amazing. And somehow overnight I hit like 400,000 views. Holy crap. But anyway. I love y'all. Big fat kisses.